I'm recording. Yeah, what's the deal? I'm DW Flame. We on the east side of Long Beach right now. We on Fifth Street to be exact. It's the worst street. These are all my bros right here. We gang. We the worst out here in Long Beach, you feel me? Yeah, worst yeah. street. He's my nigga right here. Y'all know something. Street, street. Nigga. Worst yeah. street. Yeah. 23rd Street. We all from Insane Crip. That's the worst. Shit! A lot, of, a lot of talent come from this from this horse so spot right we here. We scare everybody in Long Beach the 23rd. I'm saying, don't baby. Nigga. Yeah, we in the bitch. Yeah, we in the bitch. Niggas is scared of us, I'm insane. For sure, hey, for sure. Hey, sink to the two and then I'm dead ass. I'm insane. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, shit! <laughs> but yeah, you see what's going on. You know. Every nigga with me right here stick to the same code I stick by. You feel me? If you ain't with us, then you gotta get out the way. How important is it? How important, oh, how important is it for you? Every fucking time, bro. With the music. Every fucking time. Um, with the music business, it's it's super important for me to represent where I came from. Cause this this what made me. You feel me? This what made me. All the hard times, all the struggles out here. You know, so I definitely push it, and I definitely represent for every side of Long Beach. I represent for we we run every side of Long Beach. Good, good. Tell us about your new album that just came out not too long ago. Yeah, my um, new album is called Fifth. Obviously, you know, Fifth Street. But it's uh, stand for Forever on Flame the Hot Boy. You know, it took a lot of hard work, but I put it together. And that, um, them songs really came out my soul. You know, I probably I probably put the last five songs together. Like, within the last two days, I just went crazy in the studio. But now, it's just a start. It's just a start, but everybody know what's up now. And, you know, that's a blessing. What was some of the challenges you make this album? Um, keeping a keeping a level head, keeping a level head while we still, you know, do the activities we do and like not getting caught up. I still was getting caught up in little bullshit, but I was working so hard through it all. Um, can't nothing stop me. You feel me? I can't let nothing stop me at all. How has like coronavirus like played into like what you had going with music and everything like that? Man, coronavirus made me go crazy. Stop a bitch ass. <laughs> I went, I went <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I went crazy. Yeah, we took over. We took over every. We took over every Airbnb, Air C and C excuse. But yeah, man, and I just went crazy. I took over you know, the internet, especially for this song. Tell us about weekly Flame Fridays. Flame Fridays, that's something I came up with when I was in when I was in jail. I'm like, you know, if I can't work as as much I want as I want to, cause some studios don't be open, you know, I'm like they gonna hear me regardless. You feel me? So I'm making sure they hear me. And every Friday I pour my heart out. It ain't. It, come, it comes so natural now. At first it was hard to do, but it's so natural now, you know. Every Friday I'm gonna keep bleeding them even when I even when this check drop, when it's supposed to drop. I'm still gonna bleed them because I'm still starving. I'm gonna stay starving. What was like one of your favorite Friday freestyles that you dropped? Which one uh, was your Probably the first one? one when I came out. Um, I, I was raised off of Nunu. Food stamps and Zuzu. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's what made me go crazy when I first got out set the board. On your Instagram, I'll be seeing like a lot of celebrities and a lot of people be reaching out to you how does that make you feel like you know what i'm saying that you know some of these bigger main people like mm -hmm. is reacting to your stuff positively i feel like they been should have knew you feel me a lot of them been knew me too because i've been around you know i ain't just started a lot of people think i came out of nowhere but i've been doing this shit for like over 10 years so you feel me so they been new and a lot of them ain't surprised you know, they like, okay, they go flame. Oh. I kept working, you feel me? The and they gonna either work with me, or you know, they gonna have to move out the way. Do you have any aspirations outside of music? Aspirations mean what? Outside of music, like uh, anything else? Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, actually, um, I'm really into acting at this time, you know, including with my music. You know, I guess my poetry uh, goes with my music, but I like poetry a lot, you know. Were you? in a mini film recently? Yeah, I was in a mini film called Gangster with Mike Epps, Trey D, you know, Cognac, <laughs> Cece Valencia from Power 106. What could you tell us about that? Um, it was it was great. It was all natural. It came off the brain, like, you know, so we, we didn't have no script. Well, for the most part, 
I didn't have no script, you know, so it just came naturally, you feel me? So I, I just got that hunger, that fire in me, you feel me? I personally wanted to ask this for, the, for everybody in Long Beach. Where did you think all your fans at? <laughs> right here. You see that house right there? You see that, that brown house right there, 625 West 5th Street? Somebody else in that house now because we got we eventually got kicked out that motherfucker. I used to have everybody right here. Everybody right here had a time over there in the house. Um, half of my homies. Half of my homies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even when we moved out of there, we, we broke back in that motherfucker. You feel me? But, yeah. So, that's just when my mom... Uh, we had to retire the house eventually. So for all the people who be spinning past blocks and like, oh, they not outside. And we we are niggas who uh, doing something with our life. You feel me? If you want to find us, then let us know you're going to find us. You feel me? We don't hang out all day on the block. We trying to get some money. We got kids and shit. You feel me? But we not the niggas to play with. And that's for damn sure. But yeah. This Fifth Street, this Cinco block. This the block in Long Beach for sure. You feel me? Cinco to the 2-1. Two, one. two one hundred and Cinco is the block. So, you feel me? Anything else, they line. They line. Well, we got to look forward in 2021. Anything else, they line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be, uh, besides that, they lying unless they say they're Asian boys. We fuck with the Asian boys, stupid young and them, you know. But everything else lying. <laughs> Two is out, then my bros too. Everything else lying. Lying. Everything you get cracking right now, you put that camera down. <laughs> oh, it's saying. That ain't true, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They lying, and that's no cap. You know, everybody, every side always try to act like they better than one side, but this is this is true. Facts. There's, there's no lies being told. Google, girl. This is it. <laughs> there's no lies being told. You know. And what we got to expect from DW Flame in 2021? Right now, I'm finna set this bitch on fire. I'm finna set it on fire. I worked all the way to this point right now. It's my turn, you feel me? It's my turn right now, so I'm finna set it on fire. You gonna see constant music, you know, new mixtape, album coming. You already know I got a bomb to drop in a minute and let everybody know I don't wanna do too much right now, though. You feel me? Yeah, it's that time. Shout out to all Urban Central, it's DW Flame, Long Beach representative. Cinco Black, the worst street, hot boy number five. Y'all know what's up. Oh. Yes, sir. That's not you, nigga. Talking about what you do, nigga. Talking about how you move, nigga. That's not you, nigga.